So we've talked about the the omnis of God, right? His omnipotence, his omnipresence, and his omniscience, right? Now, but despite the fact that God is all powerful and all knowing and everywhere at once, he still maintains a level of intimacy. God is a personal God. So God, by his very nature, is a self-existent, self-sufficient, triune God of love. Now there's a lot jammed back to that one statement, but essentially what that translates into is that because God has, you know, always been eternal, and the fact that he has always been triune in nature, and he's been a God of love for that whole eternity, that translates to him being a very relational being. And because he is a relational being, he created us in his image, and we too are very relational beings. We were created to not just be in relationship with one another, but to also be in relationship with him. God wants to be in a relationship with us. Now, you hear this a lot in Christianity nowadays that, oh, Christianity is not a religion, it's about relationship. And that sounds good and all, but if you really think about it, people say that in a sense to try to make it a lot a lighter load. Oh, religion is tough and it's hard and it's difficult, but, re but relationship, oh, that's a lot more lighter, it's a lot more easier. But in reality, that's not really the case. I mean, it's easy to just follow a bunch of laws and rules and regulations. That's easy. Anyone could do that. But to actually have a genuine, authentic relationship with someone, that takes hard work, effort, dedication, commitment, sacrifice, time. It, it is a lot harder to have a genuine, successful relationship with someone than it is to just follow a bunch of random laws. Being a Christian, having a relationship with Christ is not easy. You see, relationships by their very nature constitute a life change, right? When you get married, you can't live the same that you lived when you were single, right? And when you have kids, you can't live the same that you lived when you didn't have kids, okay? Every new relationship constitutes a life change, right? And so, in the same way, when you enter into a relationship with God, a change has to take place in your life, right? You can't live the same as you lived before when you didn't know Christ, okay? A lifestyle change has to take place. The same way that when you get married, it's no longer about just you anymore. It's about this other person, right? When you have kids, again, it's not just about you anymore. It's about what's best for the kids now, right? So every new relationship, every new commitment now makes yourself less of a priority and this other person more of a priority. Same with your relationship with God, right? Now it's no longer about, well, what's in it for me? What's best for me? I'm gonna do me. But now it's about, I wanna live my life to please God. What can I do for Him? How can I please Him, okay? There's a, there's a shift, there's a lifestyle change that has to take place. And that's why it's harder to be in a relationship with God because by nature it means that we take the back seat and God takes the power of it. It means that we have to humble ourselves and put our own desires and our own wants and our own, you know, whatever we want to do to the side to fulfill what God wants us to do. Being a Christian means that it's no longer about what I want. It's about what God wants. It's not about what I want to do. It's about what God wants you to do. It's not about my comfort and my security. It's about just going out my comfort zone and doing what God wants me to do, okay? And God's not asking us to do anything that he hasn't done himself, right? When Jesus was here on earth, we came before him, okay? We were priority. His own self, his own life came second to us. So much so that he was willing to die just to save us, right? 
we were the priority. In the Garden of Gethsemane, he cried out, Lord, let this cup pass for me, but nevertheless, not my will, let yours be done. What was on his mind was not his own life, his own comfort, his own security. What was on his mind when he was on that cross was you and me, our spot in heaven. Who is willing to lose his spot in heaven just so that we can fill it, right? We were the priority, not him, not his will, not his wants, not his desires, but ours. We came first to him. We are priority to him to the point where he was willing to lose his life so that we can gain it. So if Christ is willing to put his all, literally everything, into his relationship with us, how much more so should we be willing to put our all, our time, our money, our resources, our very life into our relationship with Him. See, being in a relationship with God is not easy, but it is worthwhile. Be sure to uh, subscribe, be sure to like the video, be sure to share the video. Um, and um, just let me know, how is it that you enter a true relationship with God? And as always, think on these things.